Well, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to Kitchen Table TCG. Today we are going to be playing with my good friend and yours, Mr. The one and only Corey B from the Patreon and the Discord server. Today we're going to be hopping in and actually playing Legion's Realms at War. We don't do much tabletop simulator here at Kitchen Table TCG, but I wanted to get a Legion's Realms at War gameplay a video in for you guys. Uh, and I thought this would be easier than editing in the card images because I can show you what it is. Uh, and I've just been running low on time this week. So I'm much rather Corey, say hi to everybody. They can hear you now. Hey say it one more it's time. It's on camera. There you go. Oh, it's on camera. He says I'm a good friend, so there's proof. There you go. Corey's been you had to have been one of the first couple patrons. You've been I, here for the whole ride. I would say I'm at least top two hundred. Yeah, you've been here for a long time. So uh appreciate you, buddy. And you and I have been playing some uh legions in the server on the table on the um you know top down webcam which this game plays pretty well on on webcam uh but we i just wanted to do it this way so uh bear with us we are not professional tabletop simulator players and we are even less professional legions realms at war players so i and tabletop stuff yeah and anything really any, <laughs> any players uh i am playing the uh what's it the mortis deck uh so the and cory what are you playing uh, uh alero the oh, hero alero. deck so Mortis is, um, so your warlord, it's kind of your main, you know, character. You can, in Flesh and Blood, you would consider it the hero, but uh, this is my character. I am playing an undead deck, and that is what the, the little gold symbol is. And uh, Corey is playing a hero deck, uh, Alero. And so uh, both of these are warlords. Uh, in our starting life, of course, in Legions, you start at zero. Uh, my damage count max is 65, and Corey's is 70. So if either, either of us get to those two respective numbers, then we die. Uh, we have Veil, so uh, we'll just kind of play a game. You'll kind of see what it goes, and we'll do our best to ex uh, explain along the way. And we'll do our best to not play wrong. <laughs> so uh, this is this is fun. Uh, Corey, what's our record against each other? We've only played one game. Uh, yeah, because I played... Two. No, because I tried out the Angel deck that was, I just couldn't pile it right, and then you have experience on this deck. This is all you only play. Yeah, this is on our, Oh, uh, that doesn't count as a roll. Like, like Cast Eye. You only play this deck ever. <laughs> Alright, hit a three. Four. Alright. Four. Ooh. You going first this time, huh? Yeah, I think I will. Alright, so we draw yeah. six cards to start. And we get a mulligan. If you mulligan, you get one. Uh, you can mulligan your whole hand, and your opponent gets an additional card. Uh, I I think you have to decide first because you're going first. No, it's so much pressure. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm going to Mulligan. Oh, sweet! I'm gonna keep it so I can draw an extra card. Is there's an easy way to do this because this is just hard. <laughs> it's a very yeah, like an OCD I, kind of thing. I don't those like this. Go on, those go on the bottom. Yeah, I'm just trying to stack it up. Here, I'll stack your cards while you draw six more. Oh, well, there's that one too. You're so kind. Yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> I'm just tabletop illiterate. Um, that's no, that's not as good. <laughs> you take another molly? <laughs> uh, no, because you've got some funky stuff that you do. Uh, um. Oh, there's a random yeah. rogue card here. I assume it goes in the bottom of your deck. Yeah, I don't have any. I found that other one that I was missing last game that we tried. Nice. It was just hanging out on the side. Um, okay. Uh, where's the warrior? Yep, I'll just keep this one. Cool. And then count this down to two. So his veil goes down to two counters. Uh, at the start of the game, each veil starts at three. And when it, um, when it flips, something special happens. I will oh, put this car fortified card down. Fortified cards are played face down during your turn, and they can't be played until your opponent's turn. They're kind of like trap cards. Make sure I'm not dumb and missing something here. Okay. Then I will play this warrior card, which is an attack one, and it allows me to plunder. Okay. Uh, how do we... How do you want to do plunder? We've been just draw two, and then you put one on the bottom. Oh, never mind. Uh, plunder. This is the cut and half. Yeah, that's yeah, the cut and half uh, thing. Uh... <laughs> Let's go. Uh, here you go. Split uh, two decks. There we go. Yeah, I have to take that one. The top of this one? Yep. Okay. 
we'll figure it out eventually. There we go. We're learning. All right, and then I will. Is that a resistance guy. It is a resistance guy. Um. Gonna uh, play this unified card. Cool. Gonna get plus five attack to my warrior, and I can Ooh. attack additional time each time. So if oh you wanna, gosh. you wanna, and in response to that, you can. I can't respond to anything. I don't have any. I, it's not. I didn't get to play in fortified. Oh, that's right. Yeah, oh my gosh. More, but you can't attack. So. That's all right. I'll have to do something I feel like on my I, turn, I'm, I guess. <laughs> I feel like I'm ahead a little bit. Then I'm. Jeez, so that's a six and can attack. That's a six. Oh, it can attack an additional warrior each turn. Okay. It can't attack me twice. I went out that kind of attitude. <laughs> um, I should say, before everybody effects. doesn't watch the rest of this, if you're interested in this stuff, I do have a link in the description that has my bundle that gets all the two-player kits plus two booster boxes and some special Louis stuff. Another one? Another armor? Yep. Yep. That's what this deck does. It uh, Pretty much I get protected from battle or a card effect. I just destroy this instead. All right, so you have like an un unbeatable six attack. Well, not if you just bounce it to my hand and it's different, but... Can I target it? Yeah, I can target it still. Yeah, and then... Yikes. Yeah, I guess that'll... Uh, yeah, I'll end my turn. All right, I draw a card. Uh, this goes to two. Um, all right, so let's see if I can do anything fun here. That thing's at six. Uh, yep, it'll be six, and it has protection from card effects for battle uh, during battle. Yeah, it says uh, if you were to be destroyed by battle or card effect, destroy this card instead. Man, that's not very good. That sucks. Okay, uh, I'm gonna play a unified card, Whispers of the Grim. Uh, send the top three cards of my deck to the discard pile. Uh, so I will send the top three cards of my deck to the discard pile. And oop, I drew that one on accident. Sorry. Uh, flip, flip. We'll show you what those do in a second. Those will be in the discard pile. Uh, and then I get to target one face-up unified card on the field for each Grim Undead card. So that was two, uh, two Grim Undead cards. So I'll target two your two. Um, uh, you my cards and destroy those cards. Uh, so that was the unified I played. And then uh, this Grim Defeat has a trigger when it hits the graveyard from the deck. Uh, if this card was sent from the deck to the discard pile, you can send the top three cards of my deck to the discard pile and reduce my damage count maximum undead. But I don't want to do that because I'm at zero. And then this one, um, I can errat... Uh, I can damage three. Uh, yeah, that seems good. I'm gonna uh, target three undead cards in my discard pile and eradicate them and deal three damage to all warriors you control. Bum, bum, bum. Cool. Um, and then I'm going to play my favorite person is a guy. Uh, no. Might as well. I can attack you here. Um, I'm going to set a fortified. And then... Uh, so, by playing a fortified, I put it on the fa face down. And then I can play it on my opponent's turn, basically. Oh, yeah. I totally board. forgot I had that. Let me go look at this one, because I forget. Yeah, you can put a fortified down if you need to. Um, I just dropped it off. No, I didn't. I'm going to place three fortifieds. There's no resource system. You get to just to get to do things. Um... Yeah, uh, let's go ahead and let's take some, some priority here. Uh. Um, I'm going to pay 10. I'm going to play Bloodborne 10 to Pierce the Veil. So I'm going to go to 10. You uh, can just gonna, type the number if you wanted to. I'm going to Pierce the Veil, so that gets rid of this thing. And I get to... Uh, so. 
pierce the veil means I get to flip my veil counter over into the realm. So when this card is revealed, uh, you must sacrifice two cards on your side of the field if able. So I kind of did not play this super well, but the point was that now that my veil has been pierced, I can use my warlord. Um, so I'm going to, uh, I'm going to physical, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to physical attack you for five. I get to discard two cards. Why? Getting what your veil just said. Target one no, player. Target, target player must sacrifice two cards of the side of the field of Fable. So I'm going to target you. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. So you have to. I didn't realize you had played the Fortify. Now you wish you didn't. <laughs> I don't put it anyway. So. Uh, all right. So yeah. And then. Um, yeah. Uh, that's in my discard. So then I'm going to swing at you with uh, Mortis physical attack for five. And then I'm going to play a warrior with two and swing at you with that as well. Okay. Warriors do not have summoning sickness, everyone. They just kind of get to play. You can constrict one warrior per turn unless a card effect tells you otherwise. Uh, all I have left is not things that I can play. So go ahead. All right. I get to spin at one, then draw. That's the one thing about learning this game is when to play fortify cards and what deck. So yeah. that's a steep learning curve. Interesting. Interesting. Um, what is that? Attack with two. Okay. Okay. Um, gonna play this warrior card. Uh, plunder, right? Yep. Uh, I will do this. Or if you want to do it, I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, just do it in half. So plunder means that I would get to, if you're playing in paper, I get to pick a number and he uh, counts that number and picks, draws a card from that number. So we're just yep. going to do it. Draw this up and then spinny. Put this back on top. Okay. What did I draw? I drew this. And then I will play this. Unified card, which allows me to. Oh, it's not what I wanted, but that's okay. Uh, two cards. Uh, if you right-click on your deck, you can search. So no. Oh yeah. To trigger that. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this one because I don't know what it does yet. I don't think I have those cards anyway. And then I will get rid of this card, and I get to draw. And then I will right-click search it's three resistant hero warriors with attack of one uh where are you i know you do warriors can i nope that doesn't search very well okay do this the hard way uh i'll use this one gosh I'll do this one. TTS is one. not as fun to play, but it is way better for the yeah. vi video quality of stuff. Oh, yeah. Uh, you can probably just edit these around, couldn't you, if you wanted to? If you wanted to spend that time just to edit out the... No, I'm not going to do that. I can script an additional warrior this turn, so let's try... Ooh, um, I'm going to conscript this warrior and then draw two and just put one on the bottom. I love that effect. That's like one of my favorite card effects in this game. And you have five cards. Uh, I'm going to put this one on the bottom. Okay. Oh, not drawing. There we go. Put that over there. And then I have some cards in here I can use. Oh, just got to find them eventually. <laughs> then I will play Bloodborne 5. Is that what this is? Yep, 5 to, to activate that card. Up to 12. I will put it on this warrior. I think, yep, I've already done my thing. 
Any response? Uh, nope. Uh, then I will also play, uh, how much is this? Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, no response. Oh, yeah, this is no blood point cursed. Give me just this card, dude. Just... Is it only one in the pile? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, then I'll use this one, equipped it to this hero. So this hero in is now a... In response yeah, to okay. playing it, uh, I'm going to discard my hand and play... Uh, discard all cards in my hand, then destroy all warriors on the field. Uh, in response to this one, though, right? Yep. Okay. That goes here. I'll oh, just warrior. So... Uh, Yep. Board wipe. Oh, sorry. I didn't read the rest of that, which was the best part. Then all players warlords damage counter becomes 35. That was like the best part. <laughs> all. Okay. All were uh, everyone becomes 35. Gosh, this game would be so much fun oh. to play in multiplayer. <laughs> Does that hurt me more than hurts you? Uh, Barely. It hurt. It, it, it's the reason more. I was okay with doing that. I'll change yours while you're. The, the I already changed it. No, you didn't. No, mine says 35. That doesn't. Now yeah, on my screen it says 35. <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> uh, the the reason I was okay with doing it is because I I can attack you with my Warlord next turn. You still can't, so I'll still be up. Unless I have some tra a trap card. You've triggered my trap card. I do not. Um. Uh, yup, I can't conscript. I don't want to play any of these, so then I guess I'll just pass my turn and cry. Love it. <laughs> right. Feel the crying part? That's weird. Yep, I'll play this one fortified. And I'll I didn't realize you only had one card left anyway. <laughs> I'll swing in your hand. For, uh, for five. five. Yep. Now just showing up? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I will not do my synergy. Uh, it's your turn. Okay, uh, so then this pops because stuff, and then here, and then. Dang, conscript two heroes oh. to your side of the field. Oh, that works out for me. Uh, I didn't plan that. I was a thing about that, but then I will. Yep, play this one. And this one and then you have to look for two unified cards armor cards and my discard pile and equip one to each okay well I think I'm just going to keep a separate discard pile for that stuff because I will give this guy no give me yeah this guy, this one. Any response? Nope. No, I, I can't and, respond to your... There's no priority during the veil. But the equipment it is, though, isn't it? Uh, no, I don't think so. Because this is still... You're still resolving the realm card. Yeah. The veil card. Yep, and then... Uh, oh, my gosh. Are you freaking kidding me? Uh, yep, and I get to draw. You're doing your synergy? Not right now. I'm going to draw and see what hand I get. And then... <laughs> wow, that synergy is bonkers. Yeah, the there's another card in there. I think I told you about this. There's another one that... It's just a regular card. Like your Pierce the Veil early one, it does the same thing. Because so you can almost do it twice in one turn if you wanted to. And then this one doesn't have this, so I'm going to equip this guy to that. Oh, this was should have been destroyed because it was only a one-time thing. And then... Uh, hold on. Uh, I'm going to... In response to me playing this? Yeah, I'm going to play... Nope, okay, go ahead. So then, this would give me plus five. That'd be six. 
That's seven. There's twelve. Um, you still have not conscripted from your hand, correct? Correct. I have not. I'm just trying to think how to do this correctly. And sorry, with the other people that have not. Um, I don't think I have any here anyway. Can I search this file? I can. Uh, there's no army cards in that pile anyway, so that's fine. Sorry. Sorry. Um, then I will play this card. A unified allows me to search for three army cards. Uh, send all. Ooh, wait. Do I want to do that? Because if I target a warrior, it'd have to be my war. Because you don't have one. So I don't want to do that. Uh, I can do this though. I can flip it, put it down, and then I will constrict this warrior for turn. And then I will use my synergy to draw a card. Okay. I got for you. Oh. No. Well, eight. Jeez, that card's dumb. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is dumb. This is really stupid. Um So I can I can construct an additional warrior, right? Yep. You're, and, you're, you're, no addition. Uh, nope, that's my that was my warrior for turn because these were from the uh, okay. the veil. Um, I'm just gonna clean this stuff up just so what I can. What gives get some you more. that ability? Uh, my synergy. Oh my gosh! Are you freaking kidding me? Nope. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, so you're there. Okay, I'm going to... Oh my god, where do I have any warriors? I've got one. I'm going to Chris Rip this four attack warrior. And then... I will... Do the thing that gives it undying, the shield. Any response? Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Before that resolves... <laughs> That's not happening. <laughs> I'm gonna play Revisit the Grim. No. Before that resolves, I'm gonna to play uh I'm gonna play Grim Defeat, Bloodborne 18, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Alright, uh and then deal six damage to all warriors on the field. Okay, so this is resolved, so this hero is dead. Um, this one has protection, I think. I gotta look at this. Come on, separate the cards. I think you can hit spread. Uh. Uh. Spread. Oh, there we go. That works. Uh, this one, but destroy this card instead. Uh, this yep. other shield here, so if I can get it. Oh my gosh. I'll get it. You work on the other ones? <laughs> uh, this does the same thing. I'll get it. You work on the other ones? <laughs> That's all I have. Uh, this one would be... Is this one... That was, oh, it did a battle warrior, so it gets destroyed. So this doesn't resolve... No, yeah, it does resolve. Uh, it, you'd be targeting something that's not there anymore, because that that hero is dead. Okay. Yep. Yep. Can't change and the then... Targets once it's played. Uh, and then, uh, if this was, if I activate this card when my undead warlord is at more than half of my damage, it, I also deal six damage to your warlord. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um. Now, what does this one do? I gotta look. No, you don't have any target. That was the target one thing. Okay. Um. So you got a six and a one. Okay. So then I will equip this guy to this. Oh my god. To this warrior. They're both sixes, unless you have any response. Nope. I'm gonna play this fortify, put it down. 
Oh, I you know, do have card. a response. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I do have a response. To the fortified or that card? To that card you just play that gives it plus six. Okay. Or, yeah, yeah I, plus five. I will uh, deflect that. Negate the activation and destroy it. Um, got a fortified? Yep. I will negate it, but I can't draw on my next turn. Boo! <laughs> I yeah, love that those are both um those are both uh bountiful cards so they can be played in any deck. You basically get I, negates in every color. I think they're in every intro deck. Yeah. You get negates so in buy, every color though. It's great. If you haven't said I was gonna say where you can buy those intro decks at. Oh, at CapdanesMarket.com. <laughs> Link in the description. There's a whole Louie Louie bundle. Uh man, I feel like I can So that would be that's that's twelve. That would kill you. No, yeah, it would kill you. That would kill me. I feel like you have some kind of stupid reaction, though. I guess it wouldn't be stupid. It'd be perfect. Yeah, I'm just gonna... Why, do you have my Warlord, too? Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. That deals five damage, yeah. So I'll do five damage with my Warlord. Uh... Wait, wait, didn't the one card you just played early have... Doesn't that... Something about your DCM? Does that... No. No, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, it's still going to be game. I'm going to activate this Fortified that has ACT and it stays out. If an opponent targets my Undead Warlord with a direct attack, I can target one Grim Undead Warrior in my discard pile with attack of three or less and revive it. Um, so I will hit... Uh, That saves you. Uh, it's gonna save me, I think. By one. No. Oh, I don't yep. have it. By one. I don't have it. Oh. I don't have the one that has. This would put something to my hand, but I won't be able to do anything with it. I don't have the parish one that puts another one out on the battlefield. Well, if you do one, it still saves you one turn, and you can hopefully no, it draw. You can swing at me with your people. So I'm gonna but put so this I, on the battlefield. I would have but I would have killed that guy first, and then this guy would only be six, so you would still... I'll still be a one. You'd be, okay. Yeah, you'd still be a one. You'd still have a slim chance. But, oh, because I negated that. Never mind. Yeah, you would... Yeah. Uh, why is this flipped over? That should be... Yeah. No, you got, you've got two sixes. All right. Yeah, so but, I, but, this, but if I... Lord, your warlord's going to have to kill this one. Yep. Right? Oh, okay. Parish uh, happens. No, wait. Uh, oh, oh, wait, wait. Hold on. There's life. No, it doesn't. It goes in my hand. So that dies because your warlord's gonna have to target it and kill it. Yep. And then I get okay. a grim card, but I, I can take a fortified card but it goes in my hand. Not to the battlefield. Well, if I would have attacked him, I think it would have been better. If I would attack with one of the warriors first, I think you would have been fine. I don't think so. I don't. Oh yeah, because then you were only swinging with five. Yeah, five between. Yeah. Oh, so I should have blocked that differently and taken the five. Taken the five first and then done that. And then I would have had to. Yeah. Let's play that better. This is, I mean, you're, you can, yeah, have, let's, the win. Yep, you can yep. have the win for our, our record book that matters. But let's play it like I blocked. Sorry, right, you're so swinging. You, yeah, you, I'm going to yeah, take your five and I still have yep. warrior out. Yep. One, two, Well, yeah, you're, it won't be out now. Until then you'll, this won't be activated first. And then you'll do activate it. Yeah. Well, wait, can you though? Yeah. 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 So then you're going to, you're, this is still not activated. Now yep. you're going to swing at me with one of your warriors. Yeah, and then I'll, I'll swing. Activate that. Hate it. Yep. Put out my warrior, and then warrior. you're, you're going to kill my warrior. Warrior. And then you're going to swing at me again for six. For six. One, two, at three, four, five. 64? Six. 64, yep. and my damage count max is 65. Cool. Yep. Give the people and an that. extra turn. Yeah, exactly. We're still learning. Uh, oh, this I might mean, actually I kill you, though. That's the issue. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I probably, uh, yeah. Sorry, you I get mean, the win. You get the win. <laughs> yeah, because I could have played any more to buff it, but that's I fine. I you to yeah. 70, though. There's no way. I'm not getting you to 70 here. Not with that kind. Then I will just pass and see what you can do. I'm not getting you to 70 with one card. Uh, You've got to believe in yourself. All right. Um, well, oh, I'll yeah. Well do my synergy yeah. here. I'm gonna send the top six cards of my deck to the discard pile, and you're gonna sacrifice X cards on your side of the field where X is the number of undead warriors. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, so 
I got two warriors. So I can discard two cards then, right? No, you sacrifice six cards, two cards on your field. Yeah, so then, so this will be a sacrifice. And then, what is this one again? Uh, I'm gonna keep that. And I will sacrifice a card, right? Mm -hmm. Um. So I can sacrifice this card, but the warrior will still stay then. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, this one hit the graveyard from that. Uh, so if this card was sent to the deck to the discard pile, I can send the top three cards of my deck to the discard pile and reduce the damage count max of my undead warlord by three. Put somebody to 61. And I do three more of those. Is that the card you played last time? Maybe. Uh, so these go to my discard pile. We can destroy another fortified. Nothing. Okay. Uh, I drew a card, which is right here. I'm going to play. There's also that. one on your table that's like right here. I don't know why. Oh. I think I played that a long time ago. All right. Um, and then I'm going to. Oh, wait. I'm not going to play that yet. Hmm. No, yeah, I'll play it. Uh, and then I'm going to special ability to destroy, um, to deal X damage to all warriors on the field where X is the total number of undead cards in my discard pile, which is like 15, maybe 10. Maybe well, that's, that's a different number because my response might be okay. depending on what I mean. Right, <laughs> Uh, there's gotta be an easier way to do this. Search. It is minus two. It is 14. 14. Okay, so my response doesn't matter anyway. Okay. So, warriors are dead then. Uh, wait. Uh,. X damage all warriors on the field. So your your fortified didn't go anywhere. No. And then I, when this one dies, I get to target one Grib undead unified or fortified card in my discard pile and add it to my hand. Sorry, it was in my hand. I was looking at it. Sorry. Uh, no, this goes away too. Where's a Gotha? No, oh, it's gotta be unified. Dang it. Yeah, okay. I'm going to take this one. I'm going to play it. Uh, first act of it, I can target one undead warrior on my discard pile, revive it to my side of the field. Uh, I'm going to take Agatha. Uh, when it enters the field, I get to... It's got uh, Wisdom, so I look at the top two cards. I'm just going to draw two and put one back. Uh, I already played a warrior this turn. And then I'm going to pay Bloodborne one and target one on Grim from my deck and bring it to the battlefield. Uh, man, I haven't really gotten very good warriors here. Uh, all right, I'll put a two out there. And then uh, I will swing at you with my two warriors for three and then my warlord for five. So your warlords, everyone, you can do your special ability and one attack. In this case, um, I am doing my special ability and physical attack. Wait, total. One. So seven, yeah, eight. Eight, 54. All right, let's see if I can make it. Yeah. Oh, you're not, because the way you just played something weird. I'll tell you here in a sec. 
Uh, this goes a cooldown, even though I won't get to it. Draw one. Uh, I didn't draw a warrior. Oh. That's okay. But that's okay, because my magical attack deals three damage to one target warrior. Uh, and I'll hit this to attack one. Oh, and man. two damage to all adjacent warriors. Yeah, so if I would have played that like this... Yeah, you would have been... Gosh. They both would have been dead, but I wouldn't have... Uh... Uh, hold on, hold on. Remember, kids, placement matters in this game. Hold on. That's a fortified? No, no, you're good. All right, we're all right. We're all right. And then, oh, you have that stupid card that does yeah. it, right? Uh-huh. Yep. Yep. Uh, yep, I'll just attack you for five then. Okay. I will um, target one warrior. Uh, yeah, once per turn, if an opponent attacks my undead warrior word with a direct attack, you can target one grim undead warrior at my discard pile and attack three or less and revive that. So I will revive Agatha, which allows me to... Um, basically draw two and put the one of the two on my bottom of my field oh, i could have done that differently in one anyway that's fine okay and then i guess uh yep so it'll be destroyed once you're done and then that ends my turn uh-oh they get you 70 right yep I can't Bloodborne, that's the issue. Everything I do wants to kill me. Uh, this goes to three. Uh, my synergy should be at four, I guess. Oops. What does your synergy do? It's kind of crazy, right? Oh yeah, it does the... Yeah. Um, I mean, not much I can do here. Uh, once a turn, I can pay one and target one from the discard pile. Yep, I'm gonna pay one. I'm gonna get Agatha and it puts it on the field i get to do the agatha ability uh i'm going to gosh dang it um i can't take anything that a lot called the causes perish um all right i will play my necrosis reaper of the grim attack five uh i'll swing at you with 11. And then I will take 11. That is five so from my to... Warlord, five from my Necrosis, and one from here. 65. I'm five away. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, hold up. What was this card? Don't forget, everyone. Corey gets the win automatically because I played bad. I still want to win the right way. All right, my turn, right? Yeah. All right. Uh, that goes a three. I get to draw. Come on, you stupid warrior. I feel like you almost need to get something to destroy my fortified card. Well, if I get a warrior, I can do all those arm and stuff in my graveyard. I just needed a warrior. Uh, that's a once per turn, right? Oh my gosh, it is. Yeah. That's too good. Uh. It's pretty good. Yeah. I'm uh, learning in this game, you gotta know the opponent's deck to know what you should negate. Like, what you should try to handle. So even if I destroy them, you're still gonna just bring them back again anyway. That's what happened the last game we played. I didn't get any warriors. I just got all the card I can ever use. Um, where did that card go? Um... My deck basically gets better the more cards I have in my graveyard. Yeah. I mean, mine does too with armor match. I just got the draw warriors, which I don't have. So then I will do my magical attack, which just do it. Three. It doesn't I even did destroy. It Dang it. I did it. No, but this one, the big, the five attack warrior stays because I can't destroy. It. it only does three damage. But the other one got goes away. And then. Oh, wait. On your warlord. Oh, so I can just use the five attack to kill this guy and it won't trigger. Yep. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. That's what I'll do. And then end my turn. Cool. Uh I mean I can swing at you for game here then. Uh yeah. Uh, but I will I wanna see what this one I'm gonna cut. 
I'm going to play it out the right way, just in case. Yep, I just drew bad. This is why I think this game is good for a best of three. That makes it pretty cool. Yeah, it might be. Uh, Wisdom with Agatha. Uh, two, put one on the bottom. Uh, not going to matter. Because I can't play anything. Um, I'll hit... Bloodborne I one. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, you're not, you're not gonna have anything. Alright, so I'll just swing yeah, you with my warlord then. So my fortify Kyra, I need a warrior, so then I just die anyway. Swing at you with my warlord for five. We're one on one. We both won. I won the real game and you won the other one. <laughs> uh, uh I think I did that wrong with this one. That's alright. What? I had a unified card in my graveyard, let me do stuff. I keep forgetting about. Ah, uh, yeah. That could have destroyed your other two warriors, and I could have swung at you with my... But then you would have animated it, so I still wouldn't have won in that area. Yeah. So, wait, let me read that card again. Help from... You may pay bullet in six and eradicate this card from your discard pile. Target warriors on the field equal to half number of armaments and card discard. Oh, wait, that's not the one I was thinking of. Yeah. No, I mean, that couldn't have been. Definitely lots of things, like... Definitely a lot to going on in this game, where you have to, like, really be watching what your goes graveyard up. and like there's a lot um, there's a lot of interaction for sure i love the interaction between each other too like there's so much back and forth that's one of the re that, when i first played this game that's like what made me really like it was the back and forth nature of it um any other thoughts? yeah and yeah uh i mean obviously this is my I guess second tcg my flesh and blood so it's just a different style which it makes it kind of fun during a different game like that and Flesh Blood can be kind of grindy when you play those games, uh, and these are kind of fast and fun. Yeah, I agree. Uh, so yeah, everyone, if you go to CapitanesMarket.com, I'll leave the, the the link in the description of the video. Uh, I've got the you can order just the two player starter kits if you want. I think those are twenty four bucks. Uh, you get two you know two different hero decks and then two booster packs. Uh, but then I do have a Louis Louis bundle that has all four of the two player kits, so all eight decks plus two booster boxes and um, you know a bunch of other accessories, uh, custom Louis Louis card and stuff. So super cool. Uh, I love this game, dude. I, I think it's super fun. I've really, really dove into the um, the undead. Maybe the next game we play, Corey, we can play with our like the decks that we've been building. Um, you mean like a uh, one that you haven't played against yet, or you play the same deck every time? Well, no, I actually built built a uh, an undead deck. I played oh. like with half of it last time. It was I was like just I'm, yeah, I'm just trying to go through every pre con deck and just kind of see how each hero or warlord plays and kind of see the kind of different play styles and how their win cons are. Yeah, because yeah. I suck at deck building, so. <laughs> well, they on the Discord too. They have um, like strategy things where they have some deck lists posted. So I just stole a deck list. That's what I do, right? I just stole a deck list from from one of the guys. So cool, Corey. Thanks for playing, buddy. Appreciate you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, uh, everyone. Thanks for watching. Again, those links are in the comment section below. Let us know what you thought about Legions. If you are a avid player of Legions, let us know where we messed up. I'm sure there's a couple spots, uh, but I thought we played pretty clean. Let's so, just do it in a kind way. Don't you know? Yeah, we're here to learn. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Be kind to Corey, not to me. But yeah, yeah. Please be kind. I have a very soft soul, so I cry very easily. <laughs> Don't tell them that. They're going to be mean to you. <laughs> That's fine. I can take it. You open the door. All right, everyone. Have fun. Uh, remember, be kind to the people around you. We'll see you again next video.